Number 10. Whittington Castle Whittington Castle in Shropshire dates back to at least 1138, originally owned by the Fitzwarren family until 1420. Lots of battles took place here between the English and Welsh armies and lots of deaths have been reported in the castle's history. The paranormal reports from the castle include that of misty apparitions appearing, unexplained balls of light forming, a lone horseman riding through the castle grounds and two child spirits that appear in the top bedroom window. Alongside this, other phenomena includes that sound of marching footsteps. Here is a short clip of what we captured while investigating the castle. Hopefully we've caught some good stuff on our own as well, yeah. uh, on, on camera. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, and then hopefully we've caught some good stuff on our own as well, yeah. uh, on, on camera. What was that? Number nine, the North Wales Secret Grotto. Made up of several grottos dug out from the sandstone and the burial site of many nuns, number nine on our list is North Wales Secret Grotto. The paranormal happenings are that the nuns who once ran the abbey are said to still roam the grottos after death. Since the last nun died in 1988, satanic worship has been reported in the grottos which seem to have brought about a more demonic presence. Here is a short clip of what we captured whilst investigating the secret grottos and burial site. So it might be worthwhile um, checking on the K2, see if we get anything on that. Just, Rianne just got the K2 there, have you seen it? Notice some like old candles. Oh, just got a, yeah. a spark then. Try and light that up again for us. Yeah. Oh. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you very much. That was just... Oh, it's going absolutely wild. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if I can get that on the camera. It's really going, it's going wild. going crazy. Brilliant. Thank you so, so much. Can you step away from it now? <gasps> that, that was right on, on command. <laughs> yeah, we just discovered here the site where the nuns of the Talaka Abbey are um, remembered. I don't think they're buried here, um, but um, these memorial crosses are here um, to remember them. The um, latest dated one is from uh, 1988, and that was uh, coinciding when the, the nuns left here. If you're a friendly spirit, can you try, try and take it? Can you say take it to red? So. No, no, because we're going to say take it to red um. if it was friendly. If you're a bad spirit, can you try and... Oh, wow. Number eight, Antwerp Mansion. The Antwerp Mansion in Manchester was built in the 1840s. It was a private residence for the first 100 years of its life. It then became a conservative club visited by Winston Churchill and then finally a nightclub. Reported hauntings here include that of a small child who fell through the skylight, a dark spirit in the cellar and other spirits that cast shadows and make unexplained noises throughout the mansion. Here is a short clip of what we captured when visiting.
actually got goosebumps on me. Yeah, around that area as well, like... Uh, just like, all over. Oh, that was creepy. You're trying to fax some of this equipment, none of it will hurt you at all. Can you tell us what year you died? So if there are any spirits in here with us now, Was that you? Oh my god. Thank you. Number 7. Erwood Hall. Built in the 1830s by successful Manchester businessman Samuel Grimshaw, his family lived in the hall up until its destruction in 1934 due to the building of the family reservoir that sits on top of the former Goit Valley village and the only road that once led to it of the Erwood Hall. Now in ruin, many people have reported disembodied voices and the apparitions of a lady in black, a maid and a former teacher from the school that lies at the bottom of the reservoir. Here is a small clip of what we captured at Erwood Hall. We'll give us a clear message. Number six, the Four Crosses Inn in Cannock. Built in 1636 from old shipping timbers, the Four Crosses Inn has been a place of many tragic events over the years. Lots of former workers and customers of the inn have reported paranormal activity ranging from disembodied cries and footsteps to full-bodied apparitions and shadow figures, making the Four Crosses Inn the UK's third most haunted pub on many people's list. Here is a short video of what we captured at the inn. Yeah, see if there are any spirits here with us now. <laughs> Try and make a loud, clear noise. Oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, see if there are any spirits here with us now. Try and make a loud, clear noise. Can you tell us your name? She was that long, didn't Try and do that again for us. Oh, K2. Thank you. Thank you. Try and take up to orange. So if there's anyone down here with us now. I hope you're all enjoying the countdown so far. For the full investigations we did at these locations, please check out our channel and subscribe for random weekly subscriber shout outs on our videos and lots more paranormal content in 2022. Our random subscriber shout outs today goes to Three Spies Paranormal and Murad's Haunted Journey, so please go check them out. Now back to the countdown. Number 5. The Poltergeist Farmhouse. In the northwest of England lies an abandoned 19th century farmhouse known locally as the Poltergeist Farmhouse. 
Little is known of its history, but many paranormal reports have come from people who have explored it, including the apparition of the farmer's wife, a small child, and a dog, as well as an angry man who is powerful enough to throw objects, stomp around, and slam doors when he is disturbed. Here is a short clip of what we captured at the Portuguese farmhouse. Oh my god. What was this room used for? <laughs> Thank you, that was all. Oh. Now you've moved two, there's one more in the middle of the floor. Do you think you could? <laughs> there's one more fashion. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Okay, thank this you. is. Thank you. Both of them are not going to keep going out of focus. Mine did that before, luckily, it was in focus, so. Can you try and tell us what year you were here? Number four, the Ancient Ram Inn. Famously named the most haunted building in, in the UK, the Ancient Ram Inn dates back to 1145. It was once a home to priests, later became an inn, and then a home for John Humphreys, who saved the inn from being destroyed. Paranormal reports come from the pagan burial ground, a witch and her black cat, the bishop's room, demons within the property, and the innkeeper's daughter, who was hanged in the attic. Here is a short clip of what we captured at the inn. This was a very active location, but only places fourth on our list. Due to the popularity and hype surrounding it, it can leave people disappointed when visiting. Try and knock on that door for us. Said incubus. Any more messages before we move on? Step. Step. It's on H at the moment, yeah. Is H the first letter of your name? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Number three, Bridge North Tunnel. Disused for over 50 years, access is very limited to Bridge North Railway Tunnel due to its unsafe nature. Reportedly haunted by a man who tragically lost his life when he was ran over by a cart during the construction of the tunnel, other ghostly presents have been reported in the tunnel. Here is a short clip of our terrifying experience investigating the tunnel. We come here with respect. We just want to know your name and your story. Do you have anything to say to us? Your name and your story. Do you have anything to say to us? Your name and your story. Do you have anything to say to us? The interesting thing is that mm -hmm. while we're setting things up, you obviously have still got the camera set up to go. Yeah. And we haven't seen any orbs. What? What? What the hell? 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 What the hell?
Oh, what's that? Just doing like a breath noise behind me. That was really. That is the most. Oh my god. I'm on, I'm on edge. <gasps> Sorry for being scared there. There is literally so many orbs yeah. on the camera. Yeah. Oh god. Number two, Canic Chase. There is an endless list of the paranormal reports that have come from Canic Chase. The most famous is that of the black-eyed children, believed by many to be the victims of the three young girls murdered and buried on the chase in the 1960s. After research, we believe the ghostly sightings may actually originate from children who were killed in accidents at a local mill and then buried at the chase by the mill owners. Whatever the origin, the black-eyed children, werewolves, UFO sightings and many other paranormal phenomena put Canic Chase at number two on our list. Here is a short clip of our captures while investigating Canic Chase. Is that alright? So yeah, we're just going to start the spirit talker now. Okay. Let's see what we get. Start the spirit talker now. Okay. Let's see what we get. Start the spirit talker now. Okay. Let's see what we get. Are there any spirits here that would like to come forward and communicate with us? Deep, deep. Communicate with us. Deep, deep. Communicate with us. Deep, deep. At the start of the video we've noticed something eerie in the doorway. Is this just a trick of the light or something more paranormal? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, on this one. I was just setting up a second ago. This is a very interesting place. And all on this one. I was just setting up a second ago. This is a very interesting place. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. At number one is the National Emergency Services Museum in Sheffield. The museum in Sheffield was opened in 1900 for the police and fire departments. The fire department left the building in 1924 and the police department built cells in the building and remained there until the 1960s. It then later became the National Emergency Services Museum. The paranormal activity reported here consists of loud angry voices coming from empty rooms, objects being moved around by unseen hands. In the cells, Former inmate Kane reportedly touches unexpected female guests in his cell. A dark presence felt and seen on the fireman's corridor as well as apparitions of former officers seen in the many vehicles at the museum returning to their former roles. Now, let's check out the number one. Thank you. It's really strong, but it's not off the camera, is it? It goes. There, oh wow. Oh, wow, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holding it on red. You step away from it now. Could you tell us the year that you worked here? Or one of the years when you were here? As a group. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Try it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
dog son. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to sit pull up with Sarah and leave you now. If you don't want us to leave you though, can you do it again now? Oh wow. Thank you. Thank you. So if you want me to go and leave Rihanna here on the road, then set that box off again. Well, I'll go. I'm going to scrap in this room now if you don't fall into that. Yeah? No. No. Yeah? No. Absolutely not.